you want to end it? Okay. You want to do it now or after? If you want, I wanted to like reword like, the question you asked me about. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's do it right now. Let's do it right now. So we we're talking about being more organic and finding people and how you break into the industry. So tell me a little bit about about that. I believe life is all about doors opening and closing. And I think every door open and closes for a reason. And when you're on the right path and you're actually being your true self and you're involving like yourself like in whatever like feeds your like heart and your like soul whether like I said it's fashion art culture or you know managing a restaurant or whatever it may be being a doctor if you're doing what you're meant to be and your soul is aligned with where your heart is I feel that everything starts to really fall into place and that's the best advice that I could really give anybody is to follow follow your heart and your, and your soul and your gut and not always your mind because your mind doesn't always give you all the right answers. I love that. Concise, perfect. I love that. So when did you find that out? Did you have to do that after a couple trials and errors? Did you, how did that happen with you? I moved out when I was about 17. I didn't have the best uh, family environment growing up. So I had to learn very quickly and mature very quickly t as to how to adapt and survive and live and make connections with people. I know you asked me that question earlier as well. It's always come natural to me. I don't really know how I do it. I just am very good at feeling energy, positive or negative vibes and reading people and who they are. And I can pretty much instantly connect with just about anybody. and understand who they are as a person and talk to them even if I may not agree with them I can still understand them that's awesome. you know what I think that's a perfect connection to the guy that I'm sitting right now <laughs> you were talking about connections how do you know the person right now first of all who are you uh, well I'm uh, I'm Juan I'm, here. I'm a photographer I'm here in Phoenix Arizona and Scottsdale um, I've been doing photography for the past Ooh, that's five years maybe. Okay. It started like more professional after a year. I started back in uh, 2011. But um, yeah, I just been since then. I I met some great people. I think uh, I'll mention uh, uh, a great name here in the valley, Oscar de las Salas. He was the one that kind of invited me to one of these fashion shows back in 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 2011 and um i was starting photography back then and i you know i was more into the nature photography then he's like yeah well, i've seen your photos i'm like i had no idea where <laughs> probably facebook and then he's like well i have a show if you want to come in and just photograph um i don't mind and and from there i kind of went towards the, the artistic fashion of it and then looking at what designers were doing it opened definitely my mind a lot in terms of the fashion shows models designers um, mm -hmm. singers you know any kind of artist which i fell in love with and up to this day you know i, I photograph people that kind of have that touch of life uh they they have the life grasp on their hands artistically because that opens a window I believe to people they see they feel and you know they hear art so um, that's where it kind of I, I think that's where I started uh, in those years uh, I bought my camera when I was going to uh, have a Supai Falls. I'm like, I gotta get some great shots. And I got kind of interested in photography and that's how I started. Then I met some people and from there I, I started kind of, uh, I think, growing in the community. Now, growing in that community and everything, how do you pick your projects? Is it, do you have to do certain ones or do you go with only passion projects? What goes on? Um, hey, how you doing? Um, yeah, uh, you know, because it was supposed to be upstairs, you know, and now everything's happening in the lobby, so they want us to kind of go. So, okay. you know, I just want to kind of get shots like out here. Yeah, it was 
I didn't expect this weather. Yeah. It would oh, yeah. be on this shoot, though, you're right? Yeah, it's but it's still going to be amazing, and uh, yeah, yeah. in Jesus' name, we'll be done. <laughs> no, it's okay. Yeah, well, it's because it's me. So, yeah. we're just going to start in a little bit, or? 30 minutes of cars. So in 30 minutes? Every... All right. So, um, oh. Yeah, go ahead. I, 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 I forgot. Do you want the rest of your drink? I guess she's not drinking it. It's free. Mimosa. Mimosa hermosa. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hermosa. So, so you, different projects. How did you start picking the different projects, the vision of it and everything? So, I... Projects back then, I was uh, trying to get experience. Mm -hmm. So, you know, by I going to fashion Cheers. shows, some there events... Cheers. Yes. Um, meeting people like makeup artists, um, hairstylists, designers. Um. Let me ask you something. So a lot of people, how do you have a team, right? Hairstylists and everything. Do you guys all kind of get together and kind of refer one another for a different project? How does that work? I think it might work in two different scenarios one you know you a photographer might already have a team you know mm -hmm. he puts together a team and that's all he um he will use for uh every of his uh, photo shoots they probably get together they discuss the concept the artistic view um what it needs to be done makeup hair and all that stuff um another you know if it's another project that you tend to work with different people then uh you you know, you go and talk to those people like they have maybe they have certain um, style that you want, and you know you pick these people and then you bring the team together, and then they uh, start doing a, a project. Then for your next project, you know, someone else might have different uh, artistic view, so then you put up another team. So yeah, but but yes, uh, you talk to people, to the to the artists, to the hairstylists, makeup artists. Um, and then you start putting your team together to accomplish the photo shoot. How would you describe your style when you're trying to capture the soul of that person? How do you, what would you, in a concise way, how would you explain your style? Uh, my style is uh, sometimes very, um, what's the word? A spontaneic? A spontaneous? A spontaneous. Mm -hmm. I, I often sometimes tell the models, hey, um, Think of a scenario, mm -hmm. you know, if like James Bond, you know, think of that kind of stuff. You're you're an actor, you're acting. So get into that role, then just let me do the the work. I often like to get them into doing something, action, something that tells the the viewer, oh, you know, she's running or she's doing this or you know, advertising a watch, you know, with uh, fears, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so. My style is more spontaneous at times. I feel I, I don't constrict too much. I feel like some other photographers might do uh, in terms of like, you know, do this. At times I do have to, but I like to go along. When you have that spontaneous nature, what can you remember a time that you weren't planning to shoot it a certain way, but because it changed, because you changed it like that, it was a one of your best shots or something like that? Okay, here's one. Yeah, a perfect example. Um, and I'll show you the photograph. Uh, but that was a photo shoot that we had, and I, well, I had with uh, uh, fashion stylist uh, Victor Navarro. Which uh, we were photographing the designs of uh, Arturo Valdez, a fashion designer in Mexico, in Hermosillo. And we were shooting the uh, editorial story in the desert. Beautiful red dresses. Uh, a little bit of uh, see-through kind of uh, uh, clothing. A spontaneous, hap a spontaneous happen when the cloud formed into a heart on top of this model. And then I saw it just like, oh my gosh, I'm just gonna keep shooting. And I shot, shot like 
five photographs, and I think it was the second or third in the middle where it, the car was shaped perfectly, the model was shaped perfectly. I know Victor was uh, yelling at her, do this, do this, you know, it's like, and it happened. Okay. Something that we were not expecting, but it became a great image. And it's definitely one of my greatest images in my portfolio. Mm. Um, but yeah, th that would be one of them. Um, and sometimes the other ones I plan and then there's a great image that comes out. Uh, but that's how sometimes it goes. Okay. When you're in that moment, when you just see the heart shape, is everyone else around you noticing the same thing? Or are you in your zone that you're like, oh, no, 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 I need to, you know, is, is everyone else around you cognizant of this is a really special, spontaneous moment? Or are you interpreting it and you're forming the moment with your camera? Yeah, sometimes it does. But I've noticed, too, everybody's in their own world. That's what we, I have to, sometimes when I work with a stylist, I have to be very communi communicative mm -hmm. because um, they could be having a total different view from what I have. And, but I'm seeing it. So I'm shooting, I'm shooting, I'm shooting because I'm seeing it. But they're like, okay, Juan, do, do this and do that. I'm like, okay, okay, we'll get it, we'll get it. And then, you know, we'll, we'll get the moment that they want to. But... I think everyone sometimes they are in their own world when we're having these photo shoots <laughs> and, and uh, it can turn into a little bit of chaos I think sometimes because everybody's not on the same page. But uh, yes, I, I guess sometimes so caught up in, in getting the image and getting something different that I will often like maybe ignore some of the yelling that going on in the background. <laughs> So we're here right now. You're about to be on a photo shoot, right? So how many different photographers are here? I, I, not sure actually, <laughs> because I just got an email last night, and he's he just explained to me what kind of was gonna happen. I don't know. I think I met like three already, but I don't know. Do you guys all shoot at the same time, or it's like you're handling this model, the other person's hand, or it's it's like you said, it's just spontaneous. We'll see what happens. I think on this one, because I'm not too sure on the details, it will be spontaneous, which I love because sometimes I work in that way. It's like, um, like oh, you know, do this and do that. It's like, okay, well, we'll see what comes out. <laughs> it's pretty funny because just now when I was, um, I was sitting here and I was like just typing away, mm -hmm. but we, I love seeing energy and I love just, what's, what's going on over here? What's yeah. going on over there? So I saw the rack of clothes. I just saw people keep piling in. We're in the front of the hotel right now. And uh, yeah, it, it's pretty interesting. So one last thing that I wanted to know from you, do you have a certain model or a certain person you continually work with over and over again? Or is it kind of, hey, if we're together, it happens? Not at the moment. Um, <clears throat> but um, I used to shoot uh, a lot with uh, this uh, model, uh, Maritza Cunha, which I kind of lost... Uh, connection with her a while back but it was uh, a model that I shot a lot and that was one of my first models so it kind of kept going and I have a lot of a lot of great work from her um, I think the style it was kind of what sexual sexual um, sensual <laughs> Fiona <laughs> um, but no it, it I think it was um she was probably one of the most that I worked with back when I started. Um, but yes, I, I sometimes I do have that connection with the model. It's like, you know what I'm talking about, and I know what she's talking about, and we get it. That makes sense. Yeah. I like that. Oh, okay. So one last question for you. I know you're busy. So where are you going to be going in the next six months? Well, um... Last year, I had my first exhibition on my fine art photography on... on oh, I'm sorry, one second. You need an iPhone charger? No, Droid charger. Droid charger? Because I want to charge my Mophie case. So oh. I'm sorry to die. And I thought it, this worked because I have this thing, but it's for the iPhone. And then I, I took out the adapter thing for the Droid thing. So uh, I'm sorry. But I was an idiot. Thank you for asking oh, me. Oh, no worries. It's all good. <laughs> So you said uh, later this year. Yeah. Last year, yes, I, last year I did had a, a an exhibition on uh, fine art photography on Saguaros. Congratulations! Thank you. Um, 
uh, this year I'm planning another one. I'm still, I don't want to throw in, I, I am doing it. But um, I'm just going to continue shooting around town, photographing, um, getting with some new models that I meet. That I meet. Um, we're going to have, I think, me and Fiona uh, a shoot, hopefully soon. Um, we've, been, we've been planning for a couple months now. Mm. But yes, uh, in, the sex, uh, in the future this year, uh, I'll just keep shooting, planning a few. Uh, hopefully, the, the gallery will happen. I think it's gonna be a community uh, gallery, which I love. You know, you get you, you you get to see many different people, different views. So I think uh, we'll see what 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 this year uh, brings on. We're still early in the year, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so it sounds like a great start. We're in February, so uh, we'd love to see what you do later on. Could you uh, tell us where the good people can find you? Uh, definitely Instagram. Um, I'm very active there. I. I also write a little bit of poetry. I don't even think it's poetry. If but, you think it's poetry, it's poetry. But I, I don't know. I, I, I sometimes like to uh, get my guts out. Good. You but um, no, they can find me there. I, I put my latest work there on Instagram. Uh, that is um, Losa Photography. L-O-Z for Zebra. A Photography. Um, I'm in a red jacket. Um, uh, also Facebook, lots of photography there, uh, or my name Juan Losa. Uh, Twitter, uh, Juan Losa photo, and then uh, definitely check this one out. I also do fine art uh, photography in nudes. Uh, that is uh, Juan Losa photography slash model society, and um, check my work there. Uh, that one's just a little bit of. Not secretive, but not many people know. Uh, but I have, I feel like I have really, uh, some some of the images are quite strong. Um, and that's another, that's another topic. <laughs> For another day. <laughs> another day. It. But yeah, no, um, definitely just type away on Google and I'm sure you'll find, find something uh, about me. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for the time. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. <laughs>